What is going on guys, it is Bucky and welcome to your 21st iPhone development tutorial. And look at the time, 4.21. Huh, coincidence? I think not. So anyways, we're going to be building a program that has multiple views. And in case you don't remember what a view is, it's pretty much the screen or a window. So before, I mean, we changed some things around on the same view, like added buttons, switched labels. But in this example, we're going to be changing through multiple views so here's our application here's the toolbar at the bottom and this blue view is actually its own separate class so when you click change views it changed to a whole entirely different view and I know it just looked like the background change but actually this is how you change through like multiple views you can have a whole new window if you want the easiest thing in this tutorial is just have a button at the bottom to switch between one view and another so I know that this looks really simple and we could actually build this application using one window but I mean how would I teach you to manage multiple views if I just did that huh no I can't so that's why we need to build a simple program to switch between views using a button so go ahead and quit out of your iPhone simulator and go ahead and open Xcode and we'll go ahead and start a brand new project and go ahead and yeah we're going to change thing up instead of a view based which is pretty much just one view we're going to be making a window based application so go ahead window based application choose that and I'm going to name mine beans 2 since my old one was named beans that I just showed you guys that example of so go ahead and save this is beans 2 and now go ahead and expand your classes and resource folder and as you can see we don't really have any classes made up so far except just the app delegates and those are these are basically the built-in classes about how do you want your application to run as soon as your program opens pretty much just housekeeping stuff like uh, you know uh, application make sure it finished launching even though we don't have anything in there yet and pretty much like I said just the housekeeping stuff make sure you have a window nothing exciting so what we're going to need to do is we're going to need to build a bunch of different classes, all the classes that we need in our program, and also all those nib files, which is pretty much um, the windows or the views themselves. So before I even go on, let me tell you guys what classes we're going to need. We're going to need three classes. We're going to need a switch class, and the switch class is basically the class that's going to be responsible from switching back to blue and red the two different views now in this switch class we're going to be building pretty much the toolbar on the bottom and that's it that's the class that's going to stay there now in our blue class it's just the blue background in the red class just the red background but again these are all different views they aren't just backgrounds so we also are going to need to add two interface files a blue window and a red window so let's go ahead and um, have me quit talking and do all that right now so classes right click add new file and you get a bunch of uh, options that pop up what we want is a Coco touch class in a UI view controller subclass so this actually is a controller class to control your view or window so go ahead and click next and name this switch class because this is the main class the first class that you see when your program pops up this is going to be it so go ahead and finish this and now let's go ahead and oh by the way make sure you have .m selected go ahead and do that two more times new file next and name this one blue class .m finish and classes and new file next red class .m and now if you see in Xcode you should not only have your delegates which is pretty much um, your program files you should also have the switch files or switch class which is responsible for pretty much doing everything we're going to do in our program switching between the blue class and the red class so we're saying alright now I know I have these classes made up which is pretty much the code but now I need the nib files and check it out if you say all right, they're down in resources. They got built automatically. Since it isn't a view-based application, we actually need to build the NIP files separately. So go ahead, right-click resources, add new file, 
and you actually go to user interfaces and from here go to view XIB and click next and these are going to be the views or the windows or the screen either one that uh, represents each class so we need one for blue so name this blue window or blue screen name it blue window so you have the same thing as me and now right click resources again add new file view of course next and we'll name this red window and this will be responsible for displaying that red screen so go ahead and finish that all we're going to do is pretty much click the interface builder and make the background red along with some other stuff so now let's go ahead and begin coding our program now go ahead into appdelegate.h and from here what we want to do is as soon as our program opens we want to show that switch class and what the switch class is going to do is it's either gonna say alright if you press the button I'm gonna show the red class or if you press another button I'm gonna show the blue class the switch class is basically the class that handles the other classes and that way no matter how many views we have we can handle them all from one class super easy the easiest way to do things and we're only going to be handling two classes but anyways it's still easy so what we need to do is of course in our app delegate our um, interface file go ahead and at switch class and actually I need to go class switch class yeah that's uh that's a lot better so now we imported the switch class so we're saying alright now we might as well switch class make it object so we can access the things switch class and by the way remember don't name your class just switch because switch is something that's built into a it's a built in not a function I guess well it's just something that's built into objective C so don't name anything switch name it switch class switch view switch hot dog if you want it doesn't matter so anyways the last thing we need to do now that we got an object to access things from the switch class is go ahead and make an outlet to that class so at property of course non-atomic retain IB outlet switch class and of course that object switch class there we go and if you're saying alright why do you need an outlet well in order to access that switch class we want to access its view and add it to the main window the main window that first pops up when you start your program so in order to take this view and add it to the main window we need be able to access it via an outlet so that's why we're doing this and of course don't forget that this is the class that's responsible for managing all the other views so that's why we want this one to be on the main window and it's pretty much the main view so uh... that's all the time i have for this tutorial thought i was going to get through some more but i didn't so ugh. in our next tutorial we're going to well it doesn't matter i'm out of time you'll see in the next tutorial so thanks for watching don't forget to subscribe. The source code is in the link below if you want it. So yeah, thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe and I'll see you guys later.